Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to the North Star Tarot. This is a channel all about the heart, all about love, self-love, self-care, the romantic, romantic love, uh, twin flame and soul mate journeys. Um, if you are a new face, welcome and it's really nice to see you. Thank you for stopping by. I am a new channel. If you like what you hear, or you like what you see, I'd love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. Um, anyone that would like to have a love reading or any kind of reading to do with um, the heart and the heart chakra, all of my information is in the description box down below. Okay, let's get into this. Somebody has um, opened their eyes to love or somebody was under like an illusion of some sort because you've got glamour, intrigue and drama coming out. I must also say that my um, readings are for entertainment purposes only. Anything that comes up when it does come to kind of like mental health, self-care, love, decisions, make sure that you are using your discernment and know that my advice or the advice that's channeled through me from the divine does not take place of using your own discernment leading with your own intuition or taking any advice that you may be getting from a therapist or a doctor okay now let's continue now you've got energy shift a, 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 what were we saying we literally just said that somebody has come to an understanding that they were under some sort of disillusionment or there was an illusion there because you've got here a powerful energy shift and right underneath that you see clearly clairvoyance okay so i'm going to pop these down so it's, there's an ending that's happening and I don't know if this blue moon is going to be really important. I know this is a collective timeless reading um, and as this is going out, we are in the, the beginnings of um, a blue moon in Pisces. But if you watch this later on or in the future and um, this resonates with you, it's fine. It doesn't matter that it's not a blue moon while we're talking about this. But I'm looking at the numbers on here. OK, there's been a massive shift for someone, but it's almost like a tower happened for this person. A mask was pulled off. Some sort of mask was pulled off, be that about their own emotional depth or be that the emotional depths of those around them. OK, so I'm seeing that little ship in that woman's hair. And that is, you know, the, the sea and the ocean is all to do with our emotions. Archangel Gabriel may be present for someone here or someone may need to call on Archangel Gabriel for an aura cleanse of some sort. You also have here, um, you see clearly clairvoyance that with this energy shift changing and I heard financial changing. So someone's finances are changing or someone's becoming more comfortable with receiving money. They're becoming more comfortable in their own skin. Someone is feeling themselves as well. I don't know if Whoever this is that's going through this emotional change or this emotional understanding or this epiphany um, is also realising that material gifts or the way that they connect to relationships doesn't have to be um, with material things. It doesn't have to be. And they're seeing that the people around them, this, I heard someone's BS detector has got really, really good. But there's also a sadness coming from whoever this is who's come to this epiphany that they give, give, give. They've just been giving to find a sense of security. And whoever it is that's around them has just been take, take, taking. OK. And I heard this is for someone specific. He doesn't need to do that around you. He doesn't need to do that or he doesn't need to do that with you. You also have invasion, boundaries, violated, dominance, and then aloha healing. With that being a 10, this person is cycling, that they're ending a cycle of some sort. And you look at that, that's also a 10. I don't know if, I heard it's comfy here. So this is sad. It's, there's a bit of a melancholy happening here. But I'm seeing someone like walking with determination or anger of some sort. This person is walking away angry, either angry at themselves or angry at being taken advantage of for some reason. And this is holding on way too tightly. Invasion boundaries violated and dominant. Someone is, yeah, this is root chakra um, release. I don't know if someone has anger issues or they're just very passionate. They may have a slight controlling streak. 
um, and around this time with this epiphany happening or this, you know, this powerful energy shift happening for them, they're learning to let go. They're learning to let go of things that they can't control. And they're also learning to let go of the fact that if they, if their love language, for example, is gift giving, I, my understanding of love languages, this is just my understanding, is that your love language speaks to the volumes of what was lacking when you were younger, when you were a child. So for example, mine are words of affirmation because when I was young, I felt like I didn't have a voice or I wasn't heard. <coughs> and it's linked together with um, quality time because I felt very, you know, left behind. I was the middle child, you know, every si that's the that's the running theme or meme of the, the middle child is that they are always forgotten. Um, so those are my love languages and it links into attachment styles as well. But I feel like this person here, I'm getting like a divine masculine is going through or coming out the end of some sort of dark night of the soul. And they're realizing that they don't need to pour into other people's cups to make them for them to feel stable in a loving relationship or, or that it shouldn't be like that. They shouldn't have to constantly be um, giving other people stuff to find value or for other people to find value in them. OK, and this glamour, intrigue and drama, they may have been in a relationship that was quite high. Um, almost like um, when you see those couples in movies that are always arguing out on the streets, like, and you might not hear what they're saying, but they're just like, ah, nah, 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 and then they grab each other and they kiss each other. Mwah, and it's all really intense. This person may have been in a relationship like this and they're now realizing that um, it was a bit of a masquerade, especially with that mask being taken off, that that isn't function is, is dysfunctional. Um, always arguing or stonewalling each other and then the only time that, that you know they get back together is when they have makeup intimacy um because you've got here second house okay there's something here about buying back someone's love they don't need to do that and i'm here they don't need to do that with you they won't have to do that with you and it's not because you aren't deserved of gifts or you aren't deserved of being shouted these things but they don't feel they won't feel like they have to do that to feel validated in your presence you will validate them by hearing them or seeing them or connecting with them on a different level so that if they do give you a gift and i feel like this person is very opulent this person has a lot of money um either it's old money because i'm seeing someone like all it, like wearing a really really sharp suit and like you know how they like pull the cuffs like that's what i'm seeing um this person dresses well or they come from really good money so they will shower you with gifts but it won't be because they feel like they have to for you to give them attention or love it will literally be because i heard they worship you because they worship you and look at that you have shame upside down and it's almost that shame upside down. I don't know if this person is releasing a lot of shame or guilt, especially from their root chakra, because, you know, our, our root chakra is the first chakra that is created in utero. It's the only chakra that we have up until eight or ten. Well, that's my understanding, um, which is why the first eight to ten years of a child's life is so important. Um, and I say that from a professional stance of working with children for over 20 years right, in the early, you know, in early years. Um, but it means that children or we perceive everything from our root chakra, love, um, happiness, relationship with money, friendships, relationships in, in general, how you socialize, how you, um, how you set your intentions and your identity how you feel safe or lack thereof and if there were any incongruencies with divine feminine and masculine being either out of kilter dependent on you know how we grew up were we living in a very chaotic household where we had to armor ourselves were we living in a household that was really quiet where we had to push our feminine energy out so that we had to you know so that we could voice ourselves that is going to stay in your root 
and that will be in your root as you grow up unless that is explored and i feel like this masculine energy this divine masculine energy is exploring that now and is kind of letting go of certain things that maybe they grew up feeling like they should be shameful for i don't know if this is kind of like um them being really self-sufficient in some way so that their parents were kind of like you know what i love the fact that you're so self-sufficient which is almost like another way of just saying well um i love the fact that you know the best thing about you is that i don't need to, i don't need to help you we don't need to be around or something along those lines but there's some sort of they were shamed for something they were shamed for something and it comes to their root and i heard the way love maybe asking for affection or some sort knight of swords is coming through i don't know if they grew up in a um military household or they grew up in a household where like their father for some reason i'm getting was a policeman was a law enforcement or was very militant in some way um and they may have not got the emotional encouragement to to kind of like flourish Either that or there may have been an absent father who would then, you know, when they saw them, just buy them things. And they grew up feeling like that's what they had to do to get value from other people. And there may have been also um, a shame also in realising that the relationships they were in before were a little bit surface level and them feeling guilty for not wanting to go to dive deeper. But they're letting go of this because look, a personal, powerful, a powerful personal growth. I don't know why this is so important. To it's coming to the it's coming to the foray for a reason. But you have released your power, and that's a thirty-three. This person may be working with ascendant masters at the time, or you are. Um, tell me a little bit about the divine feminine now, please. Tell me a bit about the divine feminine. You could see yourself as divine feminine or masculine. That's amazing. So you've got the power of three coming out. <laughs> you've got the power of three coming out. And you've got 33 there. And you have nine on here. Somebody uses um, either the 369 affirmations. This divine feminine may be using that. Or there is some sort of... Um, there's something that you are repeating, okay? And it's drawing in your divine masculine. It's actually helping this divine masculine to go through this powerful um, energy shift. It's helping them to look within themselves to heal. Because if you are trying to manifest in the love of your life, if you um, resonate with twin flame journey or the soulmate journey or just with romantic love and wanting to bring in, you know, the highest and greatest good person for you on the highest timeline for you. You're literally with your manifestations because they're pure and because it's about, you know, you being on you being the best version that you can be of you and them being the best version of them for them so that when you come into union you are pouring into each other's cups that are already filled up rather than filling up each other's cups you're helping this person energetically and through the ethers you are helping them to be the best version they can be by helping them to go through this dark night of the soul and i'm, I'm hearing you you held me or you help me and i see like hands being held this is so sweet there's something about especially that gold there and look the dress of alchemy i've just realized that alchemy healing that's so beautiful they definitely connect to you or they try to communicate with you through light language or through um dream space or dream state because i just realized that on this dress can you see all those signs and like different marks and things and what popped into my head is that i did a painting and in the background of the painting i decided that i wanted to just channel and see what came through and it looks exactly like that it looks exactly like that and there's something about when you are someone auto does automatic writing 
There's a divine feminine here who does automatic writing, or there's a divine masculine that has been doing automatic writing to kind of channel in their divine feminine. Whichever one resonates for you, it's working because it's clearing something. You've got on here stifled, bored and stuck and it's upside down. Something that you have been doing is clearing the way. I heard a road opener. Someone did a road opener spell or they're about to do one or they're being told to do one because it is opening up a channel between you and your divine masculine. OK, your sensuality is beautiful. OK, you may be feeling each other. OK, you may be. <laughs> Um, this is not supposed to be a spicy reading, so I will say it, but I'm going to spell out certain bits. Um, horny AF is what I heard. <laughs> you may be feeling each other, if that makes sense. Okay, you have, look, sewer mermaid, your sensuality is beautiful. Someone needs to get their mind out of the gutter. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, but I wanted to show you because I was I was being diverted and I just realized as well. Oh, my gosh, it's all threes. So you have that number there is a nine. And that was in, re in reverse. You then have nine here with the three witchy sisters. And then you have three, three over here. OK, so I don't know if something's going to happen in three days, three weeks, three months. I heard for some it's three days. Something's going to happen in three days. But what I wanted to show you was the connection between this divine masculine and this divine feminine. OK, so you have the wing seer. You see clearly clairvoyance. Look at her eyes. OK. And you then have three witchy sisters, power of three. It's either the same person or it's not so much it's the same person. They both are looking, they both have that tinge around their eyes. They both have their eyes wide open. They both have very similar hairstyles. This is giving me like either soulmate or twin flame. You're mirroring each other. You see each other. And the thing is as well is that the divine masculine has this one and two, this three. Okay. And then the divine feminine has the nine. What I'm getting from this is one of you is a couple of steps behind each other on your healing. OK, whatever this masculine has been going through, whatever they are starting to heal and see within themselves, you you've done that maybe a month ago. So it's not your you're literally your healing is so close to each other. You're like magnets. You are going to you're going to you're going to connect with each other really, really soon. And what I'm seeing also is you've got three here and you've got three eyes here and three eyes here. This person is slowly having a spiritual awakening, whereas you, you, you're more or less coming out of having a spiritual awakening. And there are either two other things that are about to happen or you have two guides that are waiting to come in for you. They wish to give you some information. Because look, yes, their eyes on the side are open and these eyes are closed. So there is something surprising. I don't know if this person, they know what you look like. And they find you really, really beautiful, really beautiful. Like they like your curves or your body. Um, they, they, they've seen you. If that doesn't resonate for you, that's fine. Take that part out. But for a majority, they watch you in some way, be that on the TV screen, a laptop screen, a phone screen of some sort. But you don't know what they look like or you haven't seen them in a really long time. And when you see them, you're going to be surprised by the way that they look. How interesting healed they're really healing or you heal them in some way because remember i was saying that um there's something about holding hands not that one which one that one is poking out let me see you invasion boundaries violated and dominance you've taught them how to have boundaries of some sort you've taught them to stick up for themselves working too hard please do not lose hope 
they may have at some point stuck their head in the sand about the issues that they had around them and they lost hope and the song keep it keeps coming up in a lot of my reads on this channel and on my sister channel Roman's Cove Tarot NF hope if you haven't heard it go and listen to it because it is the most inspiring the most emotionally raw and motivational song you will ever hear seriously and I don't know if this person was losing hope at some point but look that really gives me like the hermit energy like virgo energy the sixth house the hermit is about kind of like um into shining a light internally on parts of you that you've kept in the darkness and taking one step at a time because you can't really see where you're going um this person has also wow look you miss someone that's upside down you've helped them to move on from something that they may have stayed into and i heard way too long and I heard they adore you. This person adores you. So this person knows what you look like. They're watching you in some way. They're enamoured by you. And I just heard, um, is it by Cypress Hill? Let me, let me clear my throat. Da, 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 da. This person <clears throat> may feel like um, their throat gets tight when they think about talking to you look you've got trust unwavering and confidence you've captured their heart completely completely or well, there's something about wanting to fit fit you or you fit together tell me more can i get one more please one more about this connection one more on this connection the call of the night, daring adventure, excitement. I'm telling you, this person reaches out to you while you're sleeping or you meet each other while you're sleeping. There's something about, um, and this came out in one of my other readings, about you guys being gold or being golden or golden auras. This person wants to shower you with gifts. They want to shower you with gifts. Um, but this daring adventure and excitement, especially at the night time they think about you a lot they might fall asleep thinking about you but they want to i heard they want to wake up with you as well they daydream about you they think about you a lot they think about you a lot okay i don't know if if you don't know who this person is you may be thinking about just their energy or wondering who they are or when you're going to meet them when they're going to come forward but you have underneath canon rules and commandments okay something has to end completely for them in their life before they can come forward to you and i heard quick 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 get to it get to it and you have a look at this card here and it has you know that cross with a little key and so does this one over here so I feel like if this person is ending a relationship, they may be, I had a marital status. So for some of you, your twin flame or soulmate may be in a marriage or they may be getting divorced or they may have, you know, they have to be separated for a certain amount of time before they can annul the, the marriage. And you look at that woman's face as well. She, that can all either be seen as peaceful, but for me, it's almost like when you've been carrying something heavy for a long time it's giving me the ten of wands energy of i've carried this for so long this scepter or whatever this is called is so heavy i'm ready to put it down i want to put this down i no longer wish to, to hold this it needs to be unlocked so that i can move okay thoughtful polite and good manners this person um doesn't like conflict usually they don't i'm getting like business matters this person is pretty he's got a really good he or you know this divine masculine has a really good head on their shoulders when it comes to business and stuff like that but i'm getting when it comes to um the matters of the heart they either they either fall in love really really quickly or they now kind of guard themselves 
because you look at Red Riding Hood, okay, and the way she's looking at the, the wolf, she looks quite innocent, but I'm getting like with this bit here being very black, it's like being very guarded now because I'm getting like this tired energy coming from them. Like, I don't know what they've gone through, but there's a tiredness. They're done. They're done. They're finished. They want to put down this scepter completely. There's something about wanting to feed you food. They may have like a food kink of some sort. Anything else before I go? Because I want this one to be short-ish. Anything else? Should we just take this one out? No? Yes. Okay, so let's get out the anime tarot. Haven't got these out in ages. Anything else before I go? What do we need to know about them? Or about this connection? What do we need to know about this connection? Well, you've got the hermit in reverse. Okay, so this person is, um, they're, they're kind of getting themselves ready to come towards you now. Because the Hermit is very much about being within and looking within, in a standing, looking through your shadow or analysing certain things. But with it being this way, this is also, this is now talking about them looking to their outer world. Or this may be advice also that they've done that deep healing or that deep kind of analysing. Now it's time to kind of look up and look out. Um, you've also got the Devil card in reverse as well. Okay. Time to go out, time to, there's, there may be an event or something where you're going to meet this person. Now you've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and you've also got, but you've got the, you've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you've got the Death card in reverse and then you have the Ten of Cups. This is almost like, um, I don't know if somebody is going, I don't know if they've spoken to a friend about this situation or what's happening. Because I just realised with that religion card, the scepter, it says um, the number underneath is three and seven, so that's a ten. So it's bringing it to a end, a cycle is ending. But this Wheel of Fortune, with the death card, I don't know if they're going, they've are going. they been speaking to someone to get advice on how they end this. Because I feel like they've spoken to someone about you, if you see yourself as the Divine Feminine. And it's almost like with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they may have been coming up with lots of excuses why they couldn't come towards you or what they, you know, I, I can't, I can't come towards her because if I come towards her, this could happen or that could happen, rejection or abandonment or I don't have the finances or I'm still stuck in this and blah, blah, blah. blah. And they've just been told to get out of their head. You've got the Hermit and then you've got the Death card in reverse. The Death card is usually about endings, all right? And with it being upside down, their friends are literally saying, you need to get out more. You need to stop sticking your, your head in the sand. Come out, come out with us, okay? You've got the Ten of Cups. Just come out and party or come out and have a couple of drinks or come out and just hang out with us. Stop being so doom and gloom in your head. And I feel like, Look, Page of Wands. Yeah, they've been told, come out. So they're taking the steps to do so. They are taking the steps to do so. You have got Temperance and the Lovers in reverse, though, to the Five of Swords. This is the energy that's hanging around them at the moment. And this is why your connection is really important to them. You help them. I'm seeing hands being held again. You are helping them. It's, it's almost like you are pulling them through this dark night of the soul to the last part. Because their strength, they are tired. They're literally tired of what they're going through. I don't know if you guys are kind of meeting and conversing through light language or through light codes while you are in dream state or while you're in the astral realm. Because I've just realised, geez, you really are... She's also got eyes in the back. Look at those eyes. And then this was the one representing your divine masculine. Eyes. You guys see each other in dream state. You may not remember this when you wake up, you know, or you may only remember little bits here and there, but they are remembering or there's some sort of, they're having some sort of ramp up in their psychic skills or their psychic gifts. 
they are remembering. They're remembering more of their dreams and you are giving them such strength and hope as they go through this. Because if they are going through some sort of divorce or separation, it's messy and whoever it is that they are um, separating from is not making it easy for them. It's not the kind of like, okay, we're going to split down the middle, half the house, half this, half that. No, this person's like, I'm taking you to the cleaners. I want everything. Either that or they're like, I'm not signing the papers. I'm the... Ooh, that has never happened in a reading. And this, I'm sorry, Tara. This is about abundance and finances. Whoever it is that they're separating from wants to take everything from them. And I heard a business, they may have a business plan. They may be a CEO of their own business. And I heard for someone music, they may write, they may be a songwriter or they may have their own like production company or something along the, something. And whoever they are with or they're separating from wants it everything okay and that temperance upside down this is a hard thing that they're going through and your connection gives them such temperance it gives them such hope it really does wow yeah i'm hearing Ooh, i'm hearing kanye west gold digger i ain't saying she's a gold digger but she ain't messing with no broke broke by the swords Wow, we, yeah, this is how they see you. You've got the Queen of Cups, and then you have the Queen of Pentacles underneath as well, and then you have the Five of Pentacles. So this person, they, they're communicating with you. They may be sending out signs for you to see during the waking waking day. They definitely are connecting with you through dream state or through the astral realms. And I heard ancestors, your ancestors may help be helping for you guys to kind of meet up. This is really sweet. Um, and I, oh, I just heard someone's ancestor say, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. That's lovely. Someone's nan came through. Someone's nan just came through and said, he's a good boy. That is like, I want to squeeze your cheeks cute, right? But Queen of Cups coming out to the Ten of Cups, to the Queen of Pentacles. There is definitely a change in energy with this stifled, bored and stuck being in reverse. I heard, let's get together. Let's get together, let's stay together. Loving you weather, weather. Times are good or bad. This person wants to marry you. Oh my gosh. Happy or sad. And you got, sorry for my bad singing. You have the five of pentacles upside down. Okay, this person sees you lift their spirits. You remind them to be grateful for things. Whether that is just waking up and saying, I'm so thankful that I'm alive today. I don't know if you say that, if you have a podcast or it's just like you're um, on your social media, you may put things up like daily affirmations. Um, but you are the reason why they wake up. You're the reason why they wake up because you have got Ace of Swords here to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. If they are having a day where they feel like rubbish, or they're feeling really down in the dumps, they literally just go onto your social media or they think of you and you turn that around for them. And they, they love that. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and you liked what you heard, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and notification bell. That was such a cute, a really, it's a very a bit very bittersweet reading because this person is going through so much. Um, but a message to the divine masculine. If you are watching this, wait, wait, seriously, everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. In four weeks' time, you're going to look back and go, I got through that. I literally got through that tunnel. I feel like there is, because um, I'm seeing the eight of wands energy. And for some reason, I'm hearing eight weeks. There's something about um, either three to eight days or three to eight weeks. This is coming in 
that there's going to be a connection of some sort. And I mean more of a physical on this realm connection. And I don't know if that connection is going to be the actual divine masculine reaching out and being like, hello, love of my life. Or whether that I heard a company is going to is going to get in contact with you. Or the company that you work with may email you about an event or something. And I heard go to it. Go to it. Seriously. Um, but yes. That's the end of the reading. That was awesome. I love you all. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and that it gave you some, you know, confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew within this connection. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.